working with the SDGs, um, campaigning for um, yeah, um, a healthy future here using um, yeah, the SDGs as a blueprint to make Bonn a better place. We actually, um, our mayor is not here yet, <laughs> um, but Bonn has decided to become 100% uh, no, 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 um, climate neutral by the year 2035. So then we have a uh, artist here. There's Miguel uh from mexico then we have a jazz duo um so artists are also here and then um we did last year a, yeah a photo contest mother earth sculpture photo contest and uh, we have here two of our top three winners so these are um and then the jury was also international because sabrina um the daughter of uh Barton Rubenstein was in the jury, and we also have <laughs> Julia Dix. She's uh, she was a jury member, and there was also um, Joe Hempel. He's a, a photographer, and um, maybe you come here, <laughs> Julia and Consuelo, and but, so the first prize winner. <laughs> is not here today that Patricia Guzman um Consuelo <laughs> she did the the second prize and when the third and a total of um yeah I mean they know the top ten but you see that the mother earth culture always looks different. I mean daytime and then people really love you know, those sculptures are taking photos and, and asking of her, what is this about? Um, yeah, um, do you have the, yeah. now it's Esam's turn. <laughs> so, thank you very much for these wonderful photography and uh, congratulations. <laughs> so I have to check, I yeah. Genau. Die Patricia. So. Und. Möchtest du noch was sagen? Ja, als Repräsentant hier auch ähm, ja, des nachhaltigen Bonds und der Zivilgesellschaft. Ähm, und unsere Bürgermeisterin ist auch gerade aufgetaucht. <lacht> ja, herzlichen Dank, liebe Sandra. Du hast wieder was Tolles auf die Beine gestellt heute, muss ich sagen. Also von mir aus schon mal Respekt für diese Initiative. Ähm, ich finde das eine wunderbare Initiative. Und ich glaube, allein das Bild Mutter Erde zeigt uns ja, wer spielt die Rüben schon? Um, is everybody okay with English? Because we also have our English audience. Yeah, so okay, we switch so now to English. I continue to. This so. is Stefan Zeyer. Oh, we have all, everybody yeah. here. Great, wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Nice to meet you. Okay, then, then myself. My name is Stefan Zenger. I'm My main job is I work for Renewable Energy internationally for many years now, more than 20 years. I'm also a bit active here locally in terms of people, that's how we also meet from time to time. And I'm a one ambassador, that is a, a voluntary uh, position. I'm really impressed by, uh, Sandra, what you have initiated here, by the art piece here. And I think this uh, symbol, Mother Earth, really tells us a lot. It tells us that we must be humble because it's not about us who are saving the world or the planet or the Earth. It's about that we must protect ourselves and actually the earth is there to host us but what we are doing with the earth is not good for us i think that that is what i take and i think the uh, this culture reflects with all these facets i really love it um another thing that i i really like to see we have a huge task now ahead of us making our world our societies 
sustainable climate neutral. I prefer, of course, the term 100% renewable, a renewable energy society. So our governments have to do a lot now. We will see the government here in Germany. Let's see what they're going to do. We have a rather new majority here in Bonn. They've taken already important decisions, and we're looking forward to, to the implementation of that. And what, what I mean, what encourages me a lot is that um, many initiatives don't come from governments, but they come from civil society. This one here is a symbol for this as well. Um, you've been telling me, Sandra, how you started to find, identify a place, um, how to set up the sculpture in Bonn. It's not been an easy one, but it's mainly your initiative. You find allies here in Bonn. Uh, you have a great artist here who supported you. So it's really a, a initiative by civil society that we are here and we can celebrate today having this here. And also you mentioned it here, uh, your class, the owner of the, the investor here of the hotel and all the, the area here, he also made this, and not so many people know it, a close to 100% renewable energy area. So heating, cooling, electricity, this all here comes from renewable energy. And that was done without public support, without subsidies. They're using here geothermal heating. It is really a fantastic place. And I see the mayor here. I think this is really a place for the rest of the city. We can learn a lot because it's kind of, but it's not really highlighted yet. And I think it's also because some of the people who are doing it, they are yeah, sometimes humble, let me say. So I think we are at a very exciting point of time. And this is a symbol for it. Civil society, many of us are ready to do it. Governments are getting there. So I think together, those people who really want to do it, we must now really start the change. And I'm very pleased that this stage today is kind of a small symbol for this, what we can do in Bonn. Thank you very much. And again, congratulations, Sandra. Congratulations to our artists and to everyone who's been involved in this. Thank you. Thank you, everyone is really supportive too. And um, I would like to um, introduce our guest of honor. So this is our mayor, Katja Dorna. And then we have, you already met um, Marina Ponti, and then the representative of the German government, the Ministry for um, Economic Development and Cooperation, that's Dr. Heike Henn. And they also want to, you know, address you. And then after, their remarks are going to unveil the dedication placket, which is uh, the mother of sculpture is um, dedicated to Germany for um, the, the work towards um, supporting environmental and climate protection. But Germany, it's not just like the government. And that's what um, you mentioned, um, that this is people, live here, people in Bonn that work in this field, um, more than 20 um, UN organizations, very um, many other NGOs, but also people working in in business and, and scientists and, and yeah, people, common people. And, and we here in Bonn, <laughs> we have an ambitious project and maybe uh, Katja Dorna can tell us a little bit about Bonn for the Future. And um, we are also celebrating uh, this year, 25 years of the UN in Bonn. So after uh, the German government moved to Berlin, um, it was decided to make this place here an international uh, sustainability hub and one of the first organizations that moved here after the volunteer program of the UN was a, a um, UN climate secretariat. So, uh, I know that you have to leave soon, so that's why I'm here. So this is our mayor, Katja Dörner. She was elected uh, a year ago. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sandra. Liebe Frau Ponti, liebe Sandra Kufa, liebe 
Gäste, liebe Teilnehmende des Fotowettbewerbes, liebe Aktivistinnen von Bonnection, meine sehr geehrten Damen und Herren, ich freue mich sehr, wirklich außergewöhnlich, dass ich heute hier sein darf und dass wir gemeinsam die wunderbare Skulptur, sag mal, eröffnen dürfen. Ich würde auch ein paar Sätze auf Englisch sagen, damit unsere äh, englischsprachigen Freundinnen und äh, Unterstützer das auch verstehen können. I switch to English for a few sentences in order to uh, enable our English speaking friends and supporters to um, understand what I would like to say. So this sculpture reminds us, in my view, that the climate crisis is all at already drastically threatening the children of Mother Earth. In fact, I think that Mother Earth is at a kind of tipping point. She will only be able to provide us, the children of Mother Earth, in future if we take action now. And so thank you, thanks very much to Barton Rubenstein for creating this very unique sculpture, this very unique installation, and for calling on humanity to unite in stopping the climate crisis and implementing the 17 sustainability goals. Thank you for choosing Bonn. Thank you very much for choosing Bonn, the home to UN Bonn and the Climate Change Secretariat for 25 years at the first European city to host a Mother Earth sculpture. This is a very big honor and great pleasure for the city of Bonn. We must turn it round as a global SDG action campaign words it. And I'm happy that Marina Ponti is with us today. I wish for more sculptures to pop up in other cities around the world but before all, for huge steps in turning the emergencies of our time in a sustainable development and a sustainable future for all of us. Jetzt mache ich noch mal auf äh, Deutsch weiter und äh, möchte mich vor allem bei den Menschen hier in Bonn bedanken, die das möglich gemacht haben, dass die Mother Earth Skulptur nach Bonn gekommen ist. Das ist natürlich äh, Herr Dr. Haas. Ich habe schon gehört, dass er heute nicht äh, bei uns sein kann. Ganz herzlichen Dank an Herrn Dr. Haas, der hier eben diese Fläche am Bonner Bogen äh, zur Verfügung äh, gestellt hat. Auch das ist ich denke, da sind wir uns alle eigentlich in keinster Weise selbstverständlich. Und er hat ja auch ähm, das Vorgehen und das Werk immer ganz intensiv mit begleitet und unterstützt. Der Standort der Skulptur hier am Rhein ist ganz bewusst gewählt, denn Wasser ist die Lebensader unseres Planeten. Die haben das wahrscheinlich auch schon gemerkt, dass die Skulptur sich verändert, je nachdem, wie das Licht drauf fällt. Also auch das äh, hat sozusagen eine zweite Dimension, die die Skulptur durch das Zusammenspiel von Licht und Schatten gewinnt. Der Künstler lädt damit ein zur Auseinandersetzung mit dem Kunstwerk, aber eben auch mit den verschiedenen Perspektiven und verschiedenen Facetten von Nachhaltigkeit und Klima nachhaltiger Entwicklung in einem umfassenden Sinne. Die TeilnehmerInnen des Fotowettbewerbs, dessen Preistragende heute gekürt wurden, haben die Einladung zur Auseinandersetzung mit dieser Skulptur angenommen. Ich freue mich sehr über die so individuellen Werke, die entstanden sind und die eben doch vor allem eines zeigen, die Verbindung von Menschen zu unserer Mutter Erde, die Solidarität und Verbundenheit im Klimaschutz und mit den 17 SDGs, die in Bonn so eng verankert sind, natürlich insbesondere über die United Nations und die Sekretariate, die da sind, aber eben auch sehr breit verankert in unserer Zivilgesellschaft hier in Bonn. Ein Prüfer hat mich eben aufgefordert, etwas über ähm, 
von For Future äh, zu sagen. Das ist natürlich für uns als Stadt ein ganz äh, besonderer Prozess. Ich sage immer etwas salopp, ein ganz wunderbares Erbstück, das ich äh, in meiner Zeit jetzt als Oberbürgermeisterin mit äh, übernehmen durfte, entstanden durch einen Bürgerinnenantrag äh, im Bürgerausschuss, ganz maßgeblich initiiert durch den Verein Bonn im Wandel. Und es ist eben ein Prozess, der in die Breite der Bonner Zivilgesellschaft die Idee mit hineinbringt, dass wir gemeinsam den Pfad beschreiten, Bonn bis 2035 klimaneutral zu machen, dass es eben kein Prozess ist, der von der Oberbürgermeisterin im 12. Stock des Stadthauses gestartet werden kann. Das ist wichtig, dass die Oberbürgermeisterin einen solchen Prozess mit begleitet. Aber wir haben so viele Ideen, auch in der Breite der Bonner Gesellschaft, dass wir gesagt haben, diese Ideen, den ganzen Spirit, den wir hier auch in unserer internationalen Community haben, den wollen wir mitnehmen und den wollen wir eben verbinden mit dem Verwaltungshandeln. Und ich glaube, diese Art, diese Art der Herangehensweise aus der Zivilgesellschaft, aber unterstützt und eben auch eng vernetzt mit dem Verwaltungshandeln, das ist etwas, also ich kenne das nicht aus einer anderen Stadt. Das ist schon eine ganz große Chance auch, die wir als Stadt haben, uns auf dem Weg zur Klimaneutralität 2035 eben gemeinsam zu unterstützen. Da kann ich auch alle, die Interesse haben, nur auffordern, da auch sich einzubringen und mitzumachen. Es gibt eine ganze Reihe von Möglichkeiten, sich da zu engagieren. Wir haben offene Treffen, wir haben aber auch Bürgerforen mit ausgewählten Gästen, also ganz viele unterschiedliche Formate, in denen man sich einbringen kann. Da kann ich nur ganz herzlich zu ermutigen, da auch mitzumachen. Ja, für heute sage ich ganz herzlichen Dank, dass so viele von Ihnen den Weg hierhin gefunden haben. Ich freue mich darauf, immer wieder die Mother Earth auch anschauen zu können, wenn ich hier im Bonner Bogen unterwegs bin. Ich freue mich auf die Auseinandersetzung auch mit äh, diesem besonderen Kunstwerk, das ja auch direkt auf die United Nations, den United Nations Campus guckt. Auch das finde ich von der Örtlichkeit ausgezeichnet gewählt. Ganz herzlichen Dank, dass Sie mir so lange zugehört haben. Und ja, ich freue mich, dass wir das auch hier heute gemeinsam feiern können, dass eine so tolle Installation den Weg nach Bonn gefunden hat. Ganz herzlichen Dank an alle, die dazu beigetragen haben. Vielen Dank. Uh, yeah, um, so we have our next speaker. This is um, Marina Ponti. And, well, maybe, well, she should also address these people. <laughs> yeah. So, as I was saying before, it's so beautiful to be here and, and, to, and to see how art and culture and creativity can help uh, take action and change things. Because if there is anything that we have learned in the last two years is that change is possible. And change can also happen very quickly when there is a vision and when the will is there. And I believe that in this moment, as the mayor, as a, as a rise and also Sandra, it, what it is clear is that if we can continue to live, to consume, to work, to produce the way we're doing, The science is clear and simple. We will simply not have a livable planet anymore. So the moment is now, and actually there was ever a moment where change was possible and where it was also possible to flip the script, to turn it around, to change the narrative, the moment is now. And art can inspire us. Art can actually break the differences between us, can, can make us come closer, and art can also show us the way. And there is a beautiful quote from Bertha Brecht that says, art should not be a mirror where we see reality, but should be a hammer with whom we, we shape it. So I really hope that this is a moment of change. 
in the last two weeks, and the city of Bonn was on the forefront, we mobilized all over the world more than 100 million people to caption for the SDG. So the moment is here, and there is a movement that simply doesn't accept the things that are right now and want to change it. And these beautiful statues symbolizes the, uh, the, the will of people to make peace with nature. Thank you. Yeah, uh, make peace with nature. Yeah, there was actually the latest parachute for the planet that was painted here. We can see it later. Um, that was a theme, uh, make peace with nature. Um, we have now, before we unveil the dedication placard, we have our last speaker, which representing the German government. It's um, Dr. Heike Henn. Yeah, hello everybody. Uh, it's uh, really an excellent uh, occasion today and it's such an impressive piece of art and so well placed. So chapeau to the artists and to everybody to make, here who made this happen. And I'm really happy to be here with everybody to join in into the uh, occasion and also to the important messages that, co that come out of this piece of art and also from everybody who engaged for this. And I think a couple of those messages resonate a lot with what we are doing in the Federal Ministry for Economic, uh, Economic uh, Cooperation and Development. And this is firstly that the crisis is global and it is real. And it's about the crisis of the climate, of nature and development. And all of these elements are represented in the, in the sculpture and all of those are interlinked. You cannot separate one from the other. Um, others have uh, talked about the emergency as well, and also the chance, but also the need for action, decisive action now, and uh, a transformation that takes care of the climate crisis, but makes sure that there's a development perspective also. And the second uh, aspect I would like to mention that for me, but uh, everybody is free to interpret the sculpture as she or he likes it. So for me, it's also about perspectives. And yes, we all and our government have to act, but it's also about perspectives of other countries. And this is what the SDGs, what the uh, uh, the UN, but also what BMZ is about. It's a perspective of the global south, of developing countries that have not contributed a lot to the climate crisis, the environment crisis, and that suffer most from the uh, consequences and have almost uh, no capacity to deal with this. So when we look at Europe, I mean, this year showed us what the doubling of uh, natural disasters since 2000 means with the fires, the floods, and uh, the temperature rise. But what about Madagascar, where there are no capacities at all to deal with the severe droughts, and one million people are suffering from hunger and malnutrition. And so uh, the perspective of development is needed. And uh, I'm very happy that we, uh, as German government, uh, we were able to fulfill uh, the promise of our chancellor that in 2020, we will double our international climate finance to 4 billion. And as good pupils, we not only fulfilled the promise, but we overachieved it uh, with uh, more than 5 billion euros for international climate finance that always has a development perspective. And uh, definitely we need to do more. And this is like the third aspect and last, sorry, <laughs> I would like to talk about of the sculpture. I mean, the sculpture Mother Earth is here for all of us. And she sees everybody. There's the police around, there's big business around. There are uh, ministries uh, that the sculpture can see and families, everybody is strolling around the River Rhine and Mother Earth is there. And I think we need everybody. We need, of course, government action, climate laws you mentioned uh, before. We need, of course, policy and regulation that 
guide our decisions as individuals, but we need also big business not only to comply to government laws, but to to step up and be ambitious and to bore, like I understand here happens with all people that make this possible. And we need society, every individual, and we need cities and ambitious mayors that lead alliances of cities that uh, are partly like ICTA based in Bonn and that you are very familiar and uh, leading. And so we need all of us really to make this change that we need happen for development, for nature and climate. And I applaud Sandra and everybody else who made this happen. And of course, the artists. Thank you very much. Okay, so now, um, thank you so much. We have one more kind of like official point. This is the unveiling of this dedication plaquette again to, to Germany, but all people uh, engaged in um, safeguarding the environment and um, yeah, also um, stop the heating of our planet. So when we move now, we you can maybe move down there. Then you can see also parachutes that have been painted by uh, local schools, but also artists. Um, you already know Consuelo, she's one of the uh, photo contest winners, but she's also very creative with a parachute. <laughs> and so our three guests of honor, <laughs> uh, they can now unveil the before we start with the music? Yes, hi. Um, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. I just want to say that this is just an amazing event. I'm so proud of Sandra and all that has happened here. I feel like this is giving energy to everybody all over the world that we are, we are doing this together. We are going to uh, make some positive effects on the world. And we and I, I just hearing the speaker speak was very powerful to hear. Um, I'd like to end from our side by basically asking everyone to raise their hands and hold a pretend to hold the parachute because that's what we do. We we hold the parachute like we're we're playing together and we can feel the uh, we can physically feel the parachute and we sort of shake our hands to pretend that we are holding one parachute all over the world. In that way, it's like a physical connection. So if you, everyone can just raise their hands for a moment and shake your hands and pretend like you are playing with a parachute, that would be awesome. <laughs> so we're going to Bye-bye. And you can still uh, <laughs> listen to, uh, thank you so much, also the audience. We're going to do some photos here, but there will be some music, and it's really great music uh, that you can still listen to. Okay, thank you. Oh, we're, we'll listen. But thank you so much, Sandra. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-
Why don't why while we're listening to the music, I don't know that we can also talk to each other. Um, I see we have Didier from Burundi on the line, and Didier and I are going to be um, going to um, Glasgow next month for a COP26, and both of us are going to be making a presentation on behalf of the Mother Earth Project. Why don't, why don't you say hello to, Did, uh, to everyone, Didier, and... Um, Tell us where you're from and, and your activism, please. Can you hear me, Didier? Maybe he's not here anymore. Well, why don't we introduce some other people? I see there's um, Jimmy Thomas. Uh, Jimmy, would you like to unmute yourself and tell us who you are and where you're from and, and your activism? You want to share it some? Um, I think for the artist from future. Oh, yeah, for the Jimmy. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead, please. Go ahead, Jimmy. Yeah, this, uh, myself is from India. This is Jaipur, India. And uh, we've been doing this thing uh, associated with MEP for quite a long time. And, uh, this is too much to have a sculpture there um, in a close by place. Yeah, I can hear that. So, um, um, I'll come back. Music and, and we uh, teach them to uh, sensitize them uh, towards the betterment of the planet Earth by means of plantation, by means of energy, solar energy, change, and uh, reduce, recycle, and recharge. So, this is how we sensitize them. With around uh, 2,500 uh, uh, students. Uh, and uh, we have a in here. Also, um, we will in the studio. Oh, nice. And this song is like towards Mexico. the betterment of the world. Mexico. And uh, hopefully, we've been traveling to the very start of the world. This year, like, we were talking about the way they are living. This year, we'll do better plans. We have plans to lead our commitment of the Pacific Coast. We'll keep briefing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying, I decided not to mute uh, Germany because we want to hear the music and then once I mute Germany, then we cannot listen anymore, so unfortunately, okay. I think everyone understands. I want to hear some of the music and I think it's going to be beautiful. And I just was trying to, uh, so Jimmy, I apologize if there was too much noise in the background, but thank you for sharing about your music. Maybe we'll have Jimmy uh, perform for us at another MET event. So, Jimmy, why don't you let me send me your email, Jimmy, uh, and, your, um, and your name so that we can. So I will send you. Sure, I'll definitely say. Okay, oh, great. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Maybe, maybe send a uh, a link, uh, Jimmy, of uh, like a YouTube link of, of your music. I'd love to hear it. That'd be great. Sure, I'd love to do that. Thank you. You're welcome. Todos uh, me dicen el negro llorona, negro pero cariñoso. Todos me dicen el negro llorona, negro pero cariñoso. Yo soy como el chile verde llorona, picante pero sabroso. Yo soy como el chile verde llorona, picante pero sabroso. Ay de mí, llorona, 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 tú eres mi chunta. Ay de mí, llorona, 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 tú eres mi chunta. Aquí 
tratarán de quererte y olvidarte pero de olvidar nunca. Me quitarán de quererte y llorona, pero de olvidarte nunca. Ay, mi pacha, mamá, mi madre, mi madre, mi madre tierra. Ay, mi pacha, mamá, mi madre, mi madre, mi madre tierra. Como hemos maltratado, mi madre, mi querida pacha, mamá. Hemos escoliado, mi madre, mi querida pacha, mamá. Ay, de mi llorona, llorona, llorona de azul celeste. Ay, de mi llorona, llorona, llorona de azul celeste. Y para de quererte jamás mi llorona. Más de mi muerte, la quitarán de amarte, llorona, la vida y la muerte. Ay, de mi llorona, 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 tú eres mi chanta. Ay, de mi llorona, 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 tú eres mi chanta.
looks like we lost the music for the time being. I was introducing uh, Didier from, uh, from Guinea, uh, who is going to be going with us, uh, representing the Mother Earth Project in Glasgow in, uh, next, in, in, in next month. And I thought, Didier, if you have a second, uh, I see you dropped off again, um, but I would love for you to say hello to everybody and tell us who you are, where you're from, and your activism, please. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm so honored to, to join this uh, great event. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'd like to say hello to everyone. Hello to Dr. Button. Hello to the team uh, from Germany. Yeah, nice, nice work. Nice work to the team. Really, um, I was learning so much from them. Yeah, I was learning, um, especially how they are in, uh, motivating the government to act. Yeah, through uh, uh, an activity, through such uh, great work. Yeah, that is really amazing because uh, the government, uh, we are to, 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 to motivate the government. Yeah, to, for um, better policies, better laws. Yeah. Then we are to be the examples, examples. Then I'm so great that the, the team is a, is a, is a manifesting a, a great example yeah, to the government, to the whole community. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, and I'm so also um, glad to, to be representing uh, uh, Mother Project in Glasgow and join the Jen Dr. Um, Button and others, yeah. And um, I didn't, uh, my name is Didier, Didier, and um, I'm, I'm the Mother Earth Project East Africa uh, director. Yeah, thank you very much. Great, thank you. Um, I see we have one of uh, the co-founders of the Mother Earth Project on the line, my daughter, Sabrina, who is listening, and uh, she is in Louisiana. Uh, which is a state in the south of the United States in New Orleans, which is actually, unfortunately, has had a lot of horrible hurricanes. Um, and she um, is, uh, well, she was actually involved in uh, choosing the photo uh, in the photo contest that was just shown on the, um, so happy that she was on for a little bit. Thank you for joining us, Sabrina. Um, and, I'd like to also have a few words from Laxmi. So Laxmi is um, a huge, uh, uh, has huge involvement with the Mother Earth Project. As I said before, she has also brought a Mother Earth sculpture to the country of India. Uh, Laxmi, why don't you say hello, tell us your name and where you're from and your activism, please. Go ahead. And you, I think you're on mute. You're, you're mute, fax me. Uh, hit your mute button. There you go. Can you turn your, um, your microphone on? Uh, you have to click the button. Let's see. Maybe she has some problems with the yeah. internet, maybe. And also, I'll just while she's doing that, uh, changing to so we can hear your voice lax me i want to also introduce that my son benjamin is also on the line uh, benjamin rubenstein is my oldest son Whoa. he is Whoa. In, yeah he is in new york city your son yeah your son yeah wow. there he is. Big ben. i would like to hear from him yeah ben can you share a few words about your name where you are and your activism uh it would be great and tell us about your involvement whatever oh you want to share God. good morning Hi, no, great to great to see everyone. Benjamin here. I am in. Uh, you want you got you're muted, Ben. You're um oh hi. Go ahead. Benjamin again. here. Oh, I am in New York City. I am just so excited and it's just such a beautiful day to see people from all around the world come together to really try to to drive change and 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 be the be the actors in all of this 
I'd say that nothing makes me more happy than planting trees. Wow. And I've planted hundreds of them with my family and we have the opportunity. We're hoping to plant thousands more in the next uh, coming months. So the ability to see the mother earth project just continue to thrive, which is such a group effort with everyone here is, is so amazing. And I hope to be able to visit everyone on this call around the world to to, to do some activism together to, to really make a difference. Thank you. Wow. Thanks, ben. Thank you very much. Oh, you're amazing. I'm very glad to see. Yeah. So Ben yeah. and I have, um, we, Ben has mm. helped a lot with the installation of a lot of my uh, art projects, including the Mother Earth sculpture. And when we were in China, he, he gave a, a talk to a school, uh, which was really funny because uh, I started to, to, to give a speech to the kids and Ben said, you know, let me take care of this dad. I, I think I can do it better than you can. So I, I sat yeah. down and let Ben uh, give, give a presentation. Uh, but it turned out that, uh, was that the school where we placed, we did place a sculpture in uh, China also. So that was the same school. It was called the um, uh, Boya Academy, which has uh, 32 large schools around the country. And this was one of them in Guilin, um, which is one of the beautiful cities. Uh, ben also has been involved in um, working for a company called Lime Scooter, which is a, you know how a lot of the cities now have scooters where you can go around the city um, with a scooter uh, and it's, it's much more sustainable to use a scooter. And that was a company he worked on uh, with for about a year. And now he's working with another very interesting company uh, related to um, ordering food and, and finding more sustainable ways to, um, to eat and to order. Um, anyway, um, I'd like to continue to introduce people. I see there's John Duco. Um, yes. Please introduce yourself, tell your name and where you're from and your hey, act activism. Good Go morning. Ahead. Good morning in Germany. Uh, good morning in Germany. In Bonn, Germany? I'm in Washington, D.C. But Oh, I'm in New Jersey. I'm, I'm speaking from New Jersey, but I'm from Liberia in West Africa. Okay. And I'm Go speaking ahead. for Liberia. I'm sorry, we did not we did not fill up the uh, we did not fill up the online application form for this Zoom, but we are so much interested. I mean, uh, yeah, we are so much interested, and I will send the information over to you right after the meeting. But I'm from the Republic of Liberia in West Africa. Nice. And can you tell us about? Yeah, speaking, any... uh, yeah, speaking tell... right now from Westville in New Jersey, but I'll be back in Liberia soon. Okay, and do you have some uh, stories of, uh, of activism about the environment? Yeah, our environment in Liberia is, 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 is being fragile by the uh, too much of activity in our forest. People are doing logging, they, they, they're cutting our tree mercilessly, they're damaging our forest, and we want to see how we can get involved in tree planting, you know, to save part of the country that's turning to a savanna. Yes, yes. Liberia is a tropical forest, but now as we speak, the, the, uh, the savanna is gradually coming in from other part of the country. So we want to see how we can get involved with tree planting to save our environment in Liberia, West Africa. I see. I'm sorry to hear about that. So I guess when yeah. you say a savanna, that means that there's no more forest and that's not a good thing. For it to be right. Portion, portion of, yeah, portion of Liberia is it's gradually becoming that. Not too big yet, but it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. So we want to prevent that maybe by planting trees, you know, and get involved in anything that can save, you know, our, our forest, our, our, our country. Yes. Thank you. So, I mean, we are really, really interested. Yes. Great. Well, we we'll wait for an organization as a CEO in Liberia. So but I'll give you the detail right after the meeting. Okay, you can send it to us in the chat line. I, I was asking everyone to send their name and email address as well as their activism. For okay, country. thank you. Let me get my laptop on. I'm moving to my laptop. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'd like to move to, um, we have Alpha in Tanzania. Uh, Alpha, maybe you can share some, uh, who you are and where you're from and um, your activism. Are you there, Alpha? Maybe. 
Yes. Hello. Hi, Alpha. And first, my first question is, how do you how do you say your country? Is it pronounced Tanzania or how do you what's the correct pronunciation? Yes, it's correct pronunciation. Tanzania. Tanzania. <laughs> you are <Okay>. correct. Sir. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yeah. My name, as I said, is uh, Alpha Ayomba. Uh, I'm coming from uh, Kigoma region in Tanzania, and uh, I'm very happy to be uh, part of this uh, event uh, from Tanzania and East Africa. Uh, very good uh, to know uh, the efforts from uh, Born German and from uh, Mother Earth Project. Uh, we uh, at PDI in Kigoma uh, we are dealing with uh, environmental education uh, school clubs and, uh, and other social groups uh, in uh, 19 uh, wards uh, in the Kigoma Ujiji municipality. And we are happy that we received the parachutes from the Martha S project and uh, we used them to claim for better uh, climate uh, laws from uh, local government authorities. And uh, we are happy that the youth groups where we are working with are very grateful to Mother Earth Project, and they are uh, interested to uh, use uh, art to convey the environmental messages to duty bearers uh, in order to claim for better climate actions. And uh, because uh, this is October and this is uh, the rain seasons are very near, we will engage in tree planting campaign, campaigns uh, so that we can uh, we can uh, we can generate a more active groups for tree planting and uh, actively engage in tree planting campaigns as part of climate change uh, mitigation uh, here in Tanzania. So I'm very happy to you, uh, Dr. Robinstein and uh, DDL from Burundi. Uh, we, we hope uh, we, you are all good leaders and uh, we are going uh, to cooperate with you all in, uh, in the name of climate change. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. And um, what I'd like to do is turn it back to Laxmi, who wanted to say some words. I introduced her already, but she was struggling with her mute. So Laxmi, why don't you go ahead? And then afterwards, I thought maybe to invite Jimmy Thomas to sing a song for us. Go ahead, Laxmi. Can you turn your, uh, your microphone on, Laxmi? Do you know how to turn your, your microphone on? La Laxmi, we can't hear you. Yes, now you are listening. Yes, go ahead, Milaxmi, please go ahead. Okay, okay. So I, I congratulate you and everyone at this place born for this auspicious occasion today for sculpture, unveiling of the sculpture. And I think all are, we all are together and we will do the best of our knowledge, best of our work for this uh, mother earth and we are fully dedicated for that. Yeah. Now in Jaipur, the mural work is going to be start in university and schools, colleges. Very soon it will start every you know, in front of the first fall of the university and uh, college. So you will see after some time I show you the mural work is there. The people are very much and uh, so many people are coming to me for the plantation. Sometimes the 14 years age, 15 year age children are having oath to plant <coughs> one leg trees together. Yeah. I say thank it is good. Yeah, so thank I'm you. giving them, I'm giving them certificates also. And uh, in a protect club are also coming to me. And uh, Whatever I can do, I am doing my part. Yeah, Laxmi is doing amazing work. And also something that we are doing um, is that we are asking communities around the world to, to now draw murals on walls uh, in their communities with the sculpture, uh, the Mother Earth sculpture. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
surrounded with, by um, people. Along with the parachute. Yes. So nice Lakshmi, parachute. Yes. So Lakshmi is very focused on uh, basically doing that project. And we encourage everyone on the call to consider finding a wall in their community to paint the Mother Earth sculpture and also paint uh, members of their own community next to yeah. the sculpture um, so that it's almost as if you have brought the sculpture to your community, uh, even though, you know, it'd be great to bring a sculpture to everybody. Everyone is cooperating me. Everyone is cooperating me. That's awesome. Everyone. Thank you, um, Laxmi, for your words. And now I'd like to um, invite my daughter, Sabrina, who I was telling you before, she uh, is in New Orleans, which uh, has unfortunately suffered a lot of terrible um, hurricanes, but here she is, here's her beautiful smile. Go ahead, Sabrina, tell us who you are, where you're from and your activism, please. Hi everyone, I am Sabrina. I am originally from right outside of DC in Maryland, um, right, <laughs> living with my father, <laughs> but now I live in New Orleans, Louisiana and, um, we just had a major hurricane here um, and there is a ton of destruction, a ton of trees that are still down and debris. And it's been about four weeks. Um, so I'm definitely living through the, this process. This is the first major hurricane like I've really lived through and they're getting worse obviously because of the climate. So to live in a city that really gets flooded almost every rainfall and um, and then it suffers these major hurricanes. It's pretty, it's intense to live through and it's making me even more determined to take action on ways I can help the environment here because, you know, we don't know how long, how long and how, how long this city will last above water you know because of all the flooding um but yeah i am i am getting involved and finding out ways to really help help this community um yeah one step at a time Th yeah. thanks for having me everyone <laughs> <laughs> it's great and sabrina is uh is quite an artist also um she, I would say she does more art than me because she's continuously creating art, um, drawing and painting. Um, and she has a very creative spirit. Uh, she just graduated from college. Um, she went to a school called Tulane University. And uh, she's just starting out, you know, as an adult now. So it's a whole new journey ahead for her. And, um, but she was a part of the original family to start the Mother Earth Project. And um, so she has made a lot of contributions there. So thank you so much for joining us, Serena. Um, we can I, change the world. <laughs> yeah. So why don't we ask Jimmy from India to, um, to, to share with us uh, uh, some music. Jimmy, you, you offered, I don't know whether you're available to share Jimmy, a song. Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy from India. There he is. Okay. Hi. I'm here. Okay, so Jimmy. It's, it's almost seven. It's seven o'clock in the almost. evening here in India. And I'll sing a song for you. It's a song by, it's a cover by uh, Louis Armstrong. And here it is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, I see three. Of Oops, sorry. I just, I just, hold it. I just hit your button by accident. My bad. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And I think to myself, oh, what a wonderful world. I see stripes of blue. And clouds of white, bright blessed day, dark sacred night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. 
The colors of a rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I hear babies cry. I watch them grow. They learn much more than I ever know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Oh, yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Thank you, everybody. Thanks a lot. You will. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. That's just so awesome. It's, you know, I don't know about you guys, but just hearing music just sort of lifts the spirits. Um, um, maybe we can ask a couple more people who haven't spoken just to say hi, and then we can bring uh, our, our time together to a close. I see there's somebody from uh, Audrey from NYSEC. Um, maybe you can, if you're there, you can sh uh, Hi. say hello, say who you are and um, where you're from and uh, your activism. Uh, I am Audrey Kindred. I lead a children's program at the Ethical Society in New York City, the Ethical Culture Society. And Ethical Culture is a worldwide movement of peacemaking and yearning toward a more ethical culture at large. Um, so we're really a social justice space for families and um, individuals to come together. And we're having a peace conference tomorrow with our children and our families and the leadership um, sharing their visions. And we'll be making a parachute together um, as part of that. And I just wanted to say it's been a real joy to witness uh, this today. Thank you so much. Awesome. Well, please send us photos so that we can post them, Audrey. Um, and good luck with your event um that's fantastic Thanks so much yeah it's great um and my son ben is in the same city right now so uh maybe if you can if you can send us a location maybe my son can drop by the event i don't know whether that's possible but you have our yeah email people address. are welcome to come it's at 1 30 at um the ethical culture society in new york city which is on the corner of 64th street and um and uh, Central Park West. 64th and Central Park I'll, West. I'll put a text. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, everyone. Yeah. Um, I see we have uh, Anush uh, Palawal. I, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name incorrectly, but uh, are you there and you want to say hi? Tell us who you are and where you're from and your activism. That'd be great. Are you there? Go ahead. I can't hear you. So you're there. You are. Uh, yes. Can you see me now? I am yes. only. Yes. Good. I see that it's nighttime there. It's we're you're in a different part of yeah. the world. Go ahead. Yes. Tell Hello, us, everyone. Yes. Tell us who you are and uh, where you're from and your yeah. activism. Just, just a second. Just a second. Please give me a second. Okay. So, anyway, we'll give him a second. Maybe um, while he's um, getting set up, uh, I see we have one other person who I have not said hello to, and that is um, Kapashi. Oh, okay. Here comes Anoush. Go ahead, Anoush. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Good evening. I am from India, Jaipur, and uh, with the efforts of Lakshmi ma'am, of course, <laughs> and with the other team members of Mother Earth Project, I have been into this project since last couple of months only, but yet through these activities, uh, along with the parachute activities and the other activities, 
and lifelink friendship programs me and my schools of course with my students we have learned a lot not only in the case in the field of environment but yes of course to the better and sustainable society and as well as we are also making this planet again a wonderful planet to live because every one of us is knowing that we don't have option b we don't have any other option with us we have to work for this only if i am not wrong then we all have to do this and yes me and like my the students and everyone is aware but yes we need to do more and more in this yes and i want your guidance as well thank you very much thanks for giving me this opportunity thank you pleasure it's a pleasure i i think one of the powerful things uh, i'd like to say one thing before we uh, actually let's have tapashi speak if she, uh tapashi are you there could you please show yourself and maybe tell us where you who you are and where you're from and your activism please are you there yeah hi my name is Tepeshi. I'm 16 years old and I'm from FM India. Great. I'm a climate advocate from Yongo. Um, I'm working with the Adaptation Working Group and the uh, Ace Working Group of Yongo. And I'm also actively engaged in Fridays for Pusa movement. And I'm working with working on youth empowerment for climate action and biodiversity conservation. Mm -hmm. And where, what country are you calling from? Oh, well, I'm from India. India, great. And uh, are you connected at all with Fridays for Future and Greta's movement? Yeah, I've completed one year paid Fridays for Future. Great. And what's your... What are your feelings? What type of uh, feelings do you want to share about your um, your concerns and and your hopes for the future? If you want to share, when you think about uh, of the climate emergency and our and uh, the human cause, emissions. Uh, is caused um, this, this is a big problems. And um, uh, yeah, uh, sometimes I really uh, feel angry and hopeless. Yes. I have to say, and, and maybe you guys uh, might agree with me, but I think that having a call like this and also talking to each other about our, our feelings uh, and the things that we want to do, having these conversations, that, that empowers me. Uh, obviously, talking about things makes you feel better. But obviously, as um, Greta says, that, you know, hope only comes through action, that our actions, it's just not about our concerns, but we do have to take actions, uh, both small and large. And obviously, today, we're connected in a very large project. Uh, our, our planet's uh, focus on trying to save the planet and find a, a more renewable future with renewable energy. So um, I think I'd like to bring this meeting to a close and just wish everyone well. Um, maybe one more time we can lift our hands and hold the parachute together since uh, we've lost Germany. Uh, and uh, just everyone have a great day wherever they are in the world. And we just, um, let's just stay strong. I think there's a lot of hope ahead. We do have a lot of work, but all the best to everybody. And you can turn on, why don't you turn on your, uh, your uh, unmute yourself and just say goodbye to everyone. Bye. Oh, la, la. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. 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 Ah, goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome to Burundi, all of you. <laughs> Welcome to Tanzania, Didier. <laughs>
Liberia. <laughs> Thank welcome you. To, welcome to Morovia, Liberia. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Hey, good. Okay. This is good. Bye, everyone. Bye. Mm.